All right, guys, so this is going to be the existing furnace that we have in here um, and AC coil. We are looking at a 17.5 B cabinet width for this. It is an 80,000 with a 4 ton fan and a 3 ton coil and 3 ton outdoor unit as well. Um, it does need to be, it needs to maintain a 4 ton. So we are going to widen this out a little bit to be 21 inches instead of 17 and a half. This is our pristine air as well as our air scrubber. Um, overall, what we were thinking is uh, between Greg and myself is we're going to just extend this out probably about two, three inches this way, two, three inches this way. You have a little bit of room, but the exhaust is running out from this as well as the drain line runs behind this back and over to the drain right here. Um, so that may need to be moved. I want to let you guys do what you guys think is completely best which is fine we do have approval if we need to completely change this over and my typical thoughts is right do a base can right filter rack furnace ac coil and then we'll probably have to condense it down a little bit at the main plenum stack um but that's kind of roughly what i'm thinking we'd probably do a new filter area for them but the pristine air is right here and we want to keep it I did get approval from Greg. If it is going to be a whole lot easier and save you a ton of time, just swap this over to a 20 by 25 by 1. If this is doable, it's not going to bug you a ton or anything like that. We can um, just do that, but it will need to be on a base can either way, being a 4 ton, and that should move you up quite a bit so the furnace is more or less with this gas line range. Um, that should free you up hopefully a lot more space to run it, so that shouldn't matter. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the overall thoughts, guys, here. Um, the other thing is this is R22 refrigerant and the AC, which I've already brought up in the other video. Um, and then it's a 10 by 24 cold air return drop. It also has our air scrubber. We're keeping both of those. And yeah, so that's going to be the main stuff here. Softener tank is in the way, as is some of the, the paint and some frames that will need to be moved out. Biggest issue we're actually going to be running into is this guy, which I'm glad Steve brought it up because I completely missed it. Um, this is too narrow to get that furnace through. Uh, so we're going to unload this together and uh, get this all cleared out for you guys so you can come straight in over to the system, take the old one out, and it should make your guys' jobs a lot easier. You may be here already while we're doing that, but that's what we're looking at doing today.